happened? How about now? Is that better? Jeez Louise. No. All right. You guys got me on, uh, you know, Kiltsy just can't quite keep it right, can he? Uh, troubles yesterday. All right. I'm back. I'm back. Lisa Marie, good morning. Esther Knight, good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Corum. Let's see. Prem Padya Panda. No sound for Kiltsy, but he's here. Who do we got on our Mighty Tribe meetups? Brother Ray, Larita, Alana Cassidy. Michael Pregler, Lindy Nil, uh, Nicholson from Australia, Lindy, uh, loud and clear on Mighty Tribe. Again, we got all these devices, and you never know why it works and why it doesn't, but we're all here together. Uh, let's see. Have a great day. Great day in, my, my, in your life. You are what you think. And every day, think in the God's words. Thank you, God, Lord, created for the day. What an awesome, amazing day. God is good. God is great. And God creates the goodness for all of us. Remember, it's equanimity. We're all the gods. There's no higher power than the gods within all of us. All right. Uh, where are we at now? Where is Chris Corum? We're back. Got you now. Maria Miller. Are you guys on your way to work, on your way from work? to school, from school, wherever you're at, you're going to the gym, coming back from the gym, start early, boots on, push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, but most of all, listen and do the positivity of the day. I'm lift listening to um, my good friend Paolo Coelho's book, The Alchemist, one of my best books ever, three favorite books, The Alchemist, Three Magic Words, and Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl. And remember, the meaning is only what you decide it is. That's all it is. There's nothing, there's nothing magical. You're not supposed to be like them, 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 them. Be just like you are. Love yourself in the mirror. Most amazing human being ever created. And we're all kind of arguing about the science, right? It's simple. We're God. Prove I'm not. <laughs> right, Katina, Katina Grinnell, how you doing? Closer to seeing you again. I know it. Misimo Randali, good morning from Boston. Awesome. West Westboro, we're working on Westboro CNY Fertility. Really excited. Michael Keen, peace, love, thumbs up every day. Right on. All right. Uh, good evening from Townsville, Australia. Sitting outside with steaks, cooking on the BBQ for dinner. Nice, Lisa. Awesome. Dwayne, how you doing, Dwayne? What we got here, Dwayne? Morning. Just got to work. I just got to work. <laughs> I, I I dropped one of my bone broth. I, I got this really, yeah, the, the bone broth lid is magnetic, and um, I've got this, the, 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 uh, the uh, charger for one of my headphones, and it's magnetic. I grabbed it, and it grabbed this, boom, right on the ground. It, Part of the universe, things break and you put them back together. Humpty Dumpty, Kiltsy, uh, every day and every way. Thank you, God, Lord, creative today. A little positivity. We're going to start, I think, with we're going to start with a little bit of our stoicism, the daily stoic from uh, Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. And I was talking to my good friend uh, uh, hmm, uh, Mike Pachorik, uh Doc. He's a great guy. Uh, it's, it's really great, 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 amazing energy. Kind, 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 generous to everyone. And uh, and uh, we, we talked about um, the Daily Stoic and Ryan Holiday's book, The Obstacle is the Way. One of my favorites also. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought. For the human spirit is colored by such impressions. Marcus Aurelius meditations. And Marcus is one of the masters of the of the word. If you bend your body into a sitting position every day for a long enough period of time, the curvature of your spine changes. A doctor can tell from a radiograph or from your autopsy whether someone sat at a desk for a living. If you shove your feet into tiny narrow dress shoes each day, your feet begin to take the form as well the same is true for our minds if you if you hold a perpetually negative outlook soon enough everything you encounter will seem negative close it off and you'll become closed-minded color it with the wrong thoughts and your life will be dyed the same well let's color them bright colorful spontaneous magical and every day 
you gotta you gotta be put pushing out to the hard. Remember the 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 pain pushes until the light pulls, and we're just being pulled by the light of life, right? Michael Keane stumbled across Casey Means, another rising rock star. Check her out. Casey Means. I will check that out, Michael. Absolutely. Let's see here. Where do I got it? I always, I always can. I pull this out, just a new tab, pull it over. Uh, is she in the, is she in the carnivore world, uh, Michael? Casey, where are we? Means. Love it. Love it. Is this a MD author? Is this what we got? Surprise you connect between metabolism and limitless health. Is that it? Ooh, I'll check that out. You know, it really is. It really is good energy. Oh, it's a groundbreaking, groundbreaking book. Well, I love groundbreaking books. Good energy. The product connects between metabolism and limitless health. Basically, you know, our metabolism is just being damaged because of a plant-based, low animal fat diet. I'd love that. I'll check that one out. That's another one. It's coming soon. Good energy. Right. What is if depression, anxiety, infertility, insomnia, heart disease, erectile dysfunction, type two diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, dementia, cancer, many other health conditions that torture and shorten our lives actually have the same root cause, which is basically plant poisonings. That's all it is, right? We're poisoned by plants and protein and we're not eating enough fat right on means explains this groundbreaking book nearly every health problem we face can be explained by how well the cells in our body create and use energy well i i i don't know that i agree with that completely because a lot of sick people have plenty of energy the problem is is that that the the when we say metabolism we're talking about energy but but in actuality there's many hormonal functions and other enzymatic functions that are being being degraded and basically you can't lift your arm up you can't see straight you can't think straight and so all of our functional systems are being damaged it's not our energy you know we're making plenty of atp you got the atp but Everything is basically it's like your brakes are bad or or the the transmission has got damaged uh, 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 parts within it. So just think of the 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 nanomotors are all damaged by some something. It's mostly strictly a um, glycation from uh, and uh, chemicals and sugars that basically glycate. That's it. Uh, thank you, Michael Keane. I'm going to read that one. I already did the pre-order button. So we got that coming for sure. Uh, I, I love this. I love, I love this stuff. We love, I'll have to interview her for sure. Love it. Noah Stewart. Good morning. What is your opinion on HCG wash? I, you know, I think it can help HCG wash, maybe some HCG boosters. Uh, but the most important thing, eat the meat, be the master, eat the mush, be weak and meek. bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and salt. That is it. DJ, thank you for stopping in a little wave and shout out to my CNY uh, fertility Instagram members. Uh, and to my uh, Dr. Kilt's Instagram, Diesel, thank you. Uh, what do you got here? Diesel041276. Good morning, Carnivore Rosie, 56ers. Awesome. Kilt's is born March 12th, 1956. Just turned 68 years young. From Europe, Amanda K. Pearson. Good morning to you. Uh, we'll get Malcolm. Let's get um, let's get uh, Miss Miss. Uh, uh, Miss Casey Means uh, on. We're going to talk to her. Be great. Yes, Josephine. Howdy, people. Michael Keane on Ken Berry the other day. Awesome. I'll take a. I'll take a gander at her. Sounds amazing. But again, our our problem. Well, we got lots of problems. Kilt says lots of problems in life. Where is? All right, I got to find. I got to find the papers that I printed on uh, glycobiology. It's really all the glycobiome has been damaged. That's it. Lisa Hodson, physics medium, Katrina, send me a friend. Awesome. And listen, all of we're a community of connecting. That's what this is really all about. Connections, positive connections, loving connections, kind connections, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, pescatarian, don't matter. We're all doing this as one. All right. Brother Ray, uh, Lindy Nicholson, we got you. Jackie Brown, happy Easter Monday. Sahara Spacklin, good morning, Kiltsy, and all hugs and kisses to all. The met uh, mitochondria and ATP, the cells can weaken with shorter telomeres, all of these things. And, and basically, the plants are the predators, and you and I 
be the prey. Let me go get my paper. All right, here, here, here we got back again. And one of the things that people are not talking about, essentials of glycobiology. Basically, the glycobiome is the is damaged, and that's what's taking down the ATP and all the other chemical reactions that are critical for the function of your body. And we've talked about Carolyn Bertozzi, who in 19, oh, in 2022 won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her work on the glycobiome. And uh, what was the other paper that I pulled out here? That's one of them. Oh, glycoprotein hormones, glycobiology of gonadotropin, styrotropin, and free alpha subunits. Basically, the damage of the glycobiome is the reason that uh, we're all damaged and diseased. That's it. Uh, Ashran, how are you are doing today? Great. I haven't had a chance. To, I'm looking at it today. I promise my, my life is a little crazy some days. Uh, book recommendation, getting into biochemistry. Well, I think a couple of books, where did I put the other book? The, the, the glycobiome is one of the sort of the essentials. It's a tough, it's a, it's a work read. You got to do the work on these books, right? You got to get to the basics. And, and, you know, the problem is everyone thinks that glucose is your direct energy for the mitochondria. It is not. It's part of, it must be converted to fat in the liver along with amino acids via insulin in the liver in order to be the energy of your body, which comes from acetyl-CoA, which comes from fat. That's it. Brother Ray, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Silvana, let's see again. Howdy, howdy. Uh, let's see. Uh, going away for a week, do you eat fruits on vacations? I very ra rarely, I might have a berry or two. Mostly it's bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and salt. Kilts is the majority of what I do is bacon, eggs, butter, beef, salt. Kilts is ice cream from time to time. Once in a while, a French fry, uh, fried in either lard, tallow, duck grease, and dipped in sour cream. Oh, my God, the best. And all the grease poured right back on it. Remember, carbohydrates are all plants. They break down to sugars, which are never required in the human diet. And actually, the, the sugars... Or this is the predator and you and I be the prey. You know, it's not just oxalates, it's phytates, lectins, and more. It's uh, heroin, cocaine, marijuana, uh, and all these things. And cholesterol is the building blocks for everything in your body. That's it. Uh, right, Lisa, we got gotcha. you. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Steven Wexler, my good friend. I love you. How you doing? My super chiropractic friend, Steven Wexler. Wexler he's a rock star. Uh, uric acid. What can you tell me about that? Well, uric, <laughs> uric, uh, uric acid, um, is just in the byproduct of amino acid metabolism. So a high protein diet makes a lot of uric acid, but, uh, it's also glycation sugars and that's the problem. So simply stick to fatty meat, salt water, the lion's diet or the lion's way it's rock star diet for all of us. And we are lions through and through. Oh, Greg, uh, uh, Greg Hall, happy birthday to you, my friend. A great day in paradise. Happy birthday to all those April babies. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, and check out drkilts.com and go to the back of our book. All right. If you go to the back of our books, you'll find a list of our, our books that we recommend that I think are really helpful in all of this. Sandy Seyfried, uh, uric acid. Remember, uh, gout is secondary to uric acid crystals, which probably precipitate great more, more readily in a sugar environment. And plant sugars are deadly for humans in general. They're highly antigenic, and they're never required in the human diet. That's the beauty of them. That's the beauty. We love it. We love life. And thank you for being here for the hour of power. Uh, oh, uh, Stephen, Brother Ray says hi from California. 
Right. One of my favorite, favorite authors in the universe is uh, Paulo Coelho, and just love to read his quotes. And I've read, read all of his books. My favorite is The Alchemist. And remember, we are the alchemists of our life. If you're blaming anyone else, look in the mirror. You are the everyone else. We are the creators of everyone. We are the creators of God. We're the creators of a good day, bad day, right day, wrong day, easy day, hard day. We are it. All right. Courage is the most important gift for anyone seeking to understand the language of the world. Be courageous. That means you're going you're gonna to have some fear in life, but go out and do it anyway. And be loving, kind, generous. And remember, you're always going to bounce back. You fall, you bounce back. You fail, you bounce back. Life is bouncing back. And remember, when you die, your energy fertilizer becomes something else. You bounce back. We're just on a journey of helping others in this beautiful universe. Remember, those, the more you help others, the more God helps you. That's the simple answer of the universe. So we got a couple of cues, off-road realtor. Let's see, perine, uh, let's see, perineal cysts and spine. Uh, yes, it's all secondary to inflammation, secondary to plant-based, low animal fat diet, and eating three to six meals a day, one meal a day or less. Uh, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and salt. The baby's diet is like the very best thing I've ever learned in life. It's changed personally. Kiltz's life. I'm 68. I went carnivore at 55. Hold on. I was looking for my carnivore book, but I don't have any uh, here. They're all at home. Listen, this uh, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, the kick-ass, most amazing thing. Um, and you got to deplete the de deuterium. That's critical in life. And basically, heavy hydrogen is holding us down. You want to lighten the load and stop carrying around like anger, fear, worry, regret, judgment, negativity. It's only holding you back in life, and you want to soar in life. Your book recommendation, Getting Into Biochemistry. We got that one. We got both of those. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dr. Kiltz, uh, how are your first cousins with uh, Boss? Uh, I know her mother is Italian. Sicilian is your mother's sister My uh, with Bruce's mother. My mother's cousin is Bruce Springsteen's mom. That's that's the relation. And we're all related. We are all related around the globe. Oh, I need my own eggs, my friends. We're all related around the globe, period. Really meaty, my pleasure. I uh, can't tell you what it means to glean off knowledge and positive attitude. Really meaty. You are a rock star. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, life is successful because you're alive. There's, there's nothing we're supposed to do or be in life, but be you. Just look in the mirror and be grateful for you. It's all you need to do. Nothing more. Right on. Esther from Hungary. Say hi to Laszlo. Daryl, good morning, Dr. K. I hope folks get the idea that the more time that passes, the easier it gets to not crave sweets, fruits, bread, rice, and any other trash. Next four years of uh, uh, strictness, and now it is easy. Kiltz has been carnivore for since the age 55, never felt better uh, over, over it's like 14 years in my, in my mental game. And what I've learned is that you, you just don't have it anymore. And then you don't buy the shit and you don't touch it of any significance or frequency. If you do, you've given yourself a treat, but never claim a cheat. Always a treat in life. Dr. Anedra, Anidra Marie Johans Johnson, good morning, good morning in paradise. Vegetables go rotten after a week in the refrigerator. Meat gets better and better and better in the fridge. Miss T got kilt C. Miss T got kilt C. A, uh, uh, oh, Michael Keene. Let's see uh, why blood shed or sugar matters with Dr. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at that, Michael. Thank you. And, and again, you know, this idea that you see where we don't, most of us don't understand the glycobiome and that, that eating a plant-based low animal fat diet is the cause of disease because we're eating too many proteins and too many plants, plants, I'm sorry, fiber, fruit, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and anything made from any of those products are the cause of all disease. That's it. That is it. That is it. Oh, I got, I got a nice. I got a this new uh, steak, a uh, steak ager, and Miss T got me a steak ager, and I got a couple of I got a strip and a ribeye sitting in there on aging, 
Like we're, you know, as we age, we get better, more, we get sweeter and more tender and more masterful in life. Remember, you are the master of your life, period. And if you're complaining about what someone else did to you, remember, that's a dream. Don't you want it to be a good dream? Wow, they did amazing things like Rockman gives me inspiration every day. Ultimately turns to jerky. But we're we're not we're not jerkies, are we, uh, Rachman? Frankie Tomaselli, good morning, Dr. Kiltz. And fellow carnivores, four more days will be four months carnivore, rock star, feeling great, just under 100 pound loss. It can be done, guys. Healthy, thanks again. And again, the complexity of the story is simple. Fat is the fuel and the building blocks of your body. Fat, adipose tissue. There's nothing wrong with your adipose tissue. It's basically we are ba- we are like rock stars and and whatever your size, shape, age, weight is, love it. And fat is the fuel and the building blocks of everything. Yes. Uh, let's see again. My mother's cousin is Bruce Springsteen, and we're all we're all related around the globe. We're all rock stars. We all have the 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 talent is built in. Uh, oh, nothing tastes as good as health. Now, remember, we are gonna we are gonna become fertilizer, and as they say, something must happen to get there. And just make it like enjoy the generosity of the universe to get you where you want to go. Rock on, Frankie. And again, listen, I respect all my vegan friends, vegetarian friends, pescatarian friends, oh, Mediterranean friends, uh, all around the globe. But what I've learned is that a carnivore life is like the the most fit and fantastic. And if you're, you know someone is suffering from mental disorders. A uh, heart, lung, kidneys, a uh, reproductive organ, skin, uh, all bones, muscle, all of it secondary to damage to the glycobiome because the glycobiome is like the most critical part of your body. The sugars that are basically like the like the landscape of the world. Remember, if there's just if there's no plants, it all is washed away. That's why you have to take care of your glycobiome. So you must take care of your garden. And our body has a garden of glycobiomes, right? Sugars. The glycobiome is critical in our body, and we're destroying it by consuming a high antigenic inflammatory-causing plant-based diet. Our grandfather and Bruce's grandfather, Anthony, were brothers. Yes, thank you, Brother Ray. Brother Ray is straightening out. Our grandfather and Bruce's grandfather, Uncle Anthony, were brothers. That's it. Uh, SJ, a good morning from the UK. Does dairy cheese stop fat loss in a carnivore? Okay, so any if you eat more calories than you burn, again, that's just like very hypothetical, use the term a calorie. If you're losing weight, you're burning more calories than you're consuming. If you're gaining weight, you're consuming more calories than you're burning. Simple as that. Whether it's cheese, salad, fruit, fiber, meat, doesn't matter. You can even consume excessive bone broth where there might be excessive calories in there, but you don't know it. Yep, yep, yep. Love carnivore. Feel absolutely great, but my weight's not budging. I assume I have a lot of healing to do. Okay. Uh, The weight you carry is not the cause of disease, but the poisons you put in your body secondary to plant, protein, lean meat diet, that's the cause of disease. And eating three to six meals a day, don't do it. Don't do it. UK, good morning. Too much cheese, not good. And the glycobiome of milk is very antigenic for all of us. It may be a little bit or a lot. And so that's why in general... Uh, cheese, milk products, uh, and and butter may not be the best for any of us. Milk from a breast for a baby, and then move on to meat off the bone. That's it. A Google search did not find me any carnivores or keto doctors in New York, Bronx. Uh, go to our website, Daryl. Look at our website. We got to work on that. Malcolm, can you uh, help uh, Daryl find someone? Thanks. Parminder, good man. Username. Good morning, Dr. Kiltz. Listening to your podcast while feeding my three-week-old became parents. Thanks to CNY Albany and for all your advice. It is my pleasure. Glad to be there. We have an amazing team all over the globe helping people get pregnant naturally or with assisted reproductive technologies. Simple and easy. I always start with the mind, the mindset, and the faith in the thing you wish as if it is, and it shall be that or better. 
beautiful brother Ray and brother Tom, sister Marianne, and of course, Kiltsy. All right, Parminder. Good morning, username. Absolutely. my. It is our pleasure. And again, oh, tonight, 5.30 p.m., KMT, a Zoom meetup. Come on down, say hi, show up. Tell us what your what your 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 non-scale victories are. I'll give that one to Bella. She's taught me that one, uh, SBG gang. And and what are the things you're challenged by? What are the things you've seen in the benefits and what questions you have? Make it simple. You see, the cause of all disease is damage to the glycobiome. The glycobiome gets damaged and you can't make energy very well. You can't turn the nanomotors. You can't move your muscles. You can't think straight. You can't see straight. You can't hear straight. You got pain everywhere, right? Pain in the booty. You can't make babies. You can't you can't practice making babies. The damage to the glycobiome is it. Uh, let's see. Glyco, glycobiome. We'll put that together. And look up glycobiology. And if you go to drkilts.com, we have some some links there. And maybe, uh, Malcolm, you can check help on that for the links to the glycobiome. Good morning, Cecilia Berlin. Berlin. Good morning. Where can we read more about the glycobiome? Drkilts.com. And I did a really great uh, talk with Stephen Thomas, UK carnivore, uh, and talked about the, the glycobiology. Remember, everyone thinks your energy and ATP is the problem. Nope. It's the glycobiome that's the problem. Good evening from Perth, Rachel, Mirren, Med, uh, going back to Lion Day 1 and 331 Day Strong Carnivore. Again, it's it's uh, April 1st. Uh, I'm doing a two-day fast. I was going to do three, but my daughter's in town, so I'm having steak with her tomorrow night. And we'll see. Probably going to um, ooh, the uh, our favorite place. One of our favorite places is Mirbeau in Spa. Uh, Daryl, Malcolm, I tried Dr. K web search from uh, Karn Doctors, but it didn't help. Thanks. We'll take a look at that, Daryl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got to make it better. Carlos Diaz Pardo. Good morning, everyone from Spain. Oh, and then what's the name of the of the the longest continuous open restaurant in Spain, which does the little piglets and the roasted? Oh my God, they look amazing! I think two hour baking of Beton. Beton, I think that's what it is. Oh, love it! Uh, good morning, M. Butler. Uh, let's see, Natalino Nate uh, is ghee good for glycobiome? Yes, fat. Fats suppress inflammation. Animal fat suppresses inflammation. Ghee is a good one. Tallow lard is a good one. But eat the fat. That is the most important thing. Most people are forgetting to eat the fat. Uh, Rachel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. I've got our CNY Instagram, Dr. Kilt's Instagram, The Mighty Tribe, and, of course, YouTube, Facebook. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Kiltsy learned to fly airplanes at 55, jets at 62, became a carnivore at 55, uh, dug deep into the into uh, faith and positivity in my 40s. I suffered, I suffered, I suffered, and Jesus Christ and Mother Mary were giving Kiltsy a gift to teach me to be strong again and, and again and again and again. Ben Wu, God is in the mirror. Happy Monday, everybody. The glycobiome, the and and I and there's so and you can get if you go to a Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory Press on the essentials of glycobiology, it's a free online book. That's the beauty of it. It's free online. We are the lions. Be the lion. Stop being the pig, cow, or sheep. Eat the meat. Stop eating the fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. And fiber causes colon cancer. Fruit causes breast cancer. Uh, plants are the are the cancer-causing agents of the universe. And I know it doesn't make sense. And people are going to go, Dr. Kiltz, where's the research? Well, I'm giving you my opinion based on prior uh, consumption of a high plant-based, low animal fat diet. I got arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, bowel bleeding, hemorrhoids, and more, depression, anxiety, suicidality, criminality, and more. And when I went carnivore, it all went away. I've never felt better in my life. And, and my friends, don't do this because you're going to be like, wait a minute. I don't need the drugs of my doctors anymore. Is this right? Yes, my friend, it is the best right. All right. All right. 
All right, right, right. All right, uh, Jose, uh, Jose Dos, uh, Oin Dilly. Hello, Rachel. We got you there. Catch in, Lindy. I love carnivore. Feel absolutely great. We got that. Sue Wills. Wills, uh, help. Uh, went off carnivore for two years. When I went carnivore again, I stopped losing weight after a month and became extreme of fatigue. Why can't I burn fat? I'm um, 54 year young woman from New Zealand. Number one, you only you only burn fat. That's all we burn in life. Fat is the fuel for the Ferrari. Nothing else. You do not burn sugars. You are consuming excess sugars, and the problem is, is that your your stomach and your intestines are full of digesting carbohydrates, which are always providing sugar to your body. So you think, well, I haven't eaten for three days, but you got a you got a belly full of plants, which are basically fermenting, digesting, and sending sugars to your liver, damaging your liver, and you're done. That's it. But listen, if you want to lose weight. You want to use the fat. Remember, the fat is the only fuel, not glucose. And fat breaks down like lickety split. But the problem is you believe, well, I haven't eaten in two days. Yeah, but you stuffed your belly through full of uh, full of plant plants, which are just digesting for days. Uh, let's see. Dev, uh, Devi uh, Caper Shad. I'm a teacher, and quite honestly, it's extremely expensive to eat this type of diet. That is not true. It's more expensive. It is less expensive to eat this diet. You go to fatty meat, one meal a day, bacon, eggs, butter, beef. You go to local farmers. You can buy half a cow, put it in your freezer. That'll cover your family for a year and you'll feel better. The problem is we're eating a high fiber filled diet. We're buying a bunch of food that's never utilized in our body because it's basically sitting as fiber in the gut. It's fermenting, making alcohol, makes you addicted, and and the fiber is poorly broken down, and so you're wasting the calories in general. If you go to fatty meat, uh, Dev, Devi, uh, you'll feel better. You'll stop needing the drugs, the doctor's dissections, and you won't be running around with negativity all day long. In my opinion, I'm just giving you some thoughts and ideas that didn't make sense to me as a physician I thought, oh, plants are the best thing you can eat. This is the most amazing diet you can ever do. It's less expensive to eat carnivore than anything else I've learned. Anything else I've learned. And again, most people go like, oh, wait a minute, Dr. Kiltz. Everyone says it's too expensive to eat meat because you're buying A5 Wagyu grass-fed grain finished. Listen, you, you can go to your local farmer, your local butcher, if meat is the master meal, no more supplements, no more minerals and vitamins to take, no more supplements, no more protein powder. You don't need any of the shit. I'm sorry. And you make a lot less shit because everything you eat goes to your body and builds your muscles, your brain and your function, in your body. Sorry. Good question, Cecilia. I, I appreciate it. Debbie. Most, uh, most amazing diet you can ever do is carnivore. Most amazing. I'm going to go see next week. I'm going to go see Jordan Peterson in New York carnivore. The mind works better. And her other new great friend is uh, Georgia Ede. She's a rock star. You got to buy the book by Georgia Ede. You can go to our website and you can click and buy a copy of this book. Malcolm, make sure that happens, please. You can buy a copy of the book. I get like 10 cents. She gets a dollar. And uh, but you get a billion dollars in advice on how basically it, see now I I've been paleo keto uh, vegan vegetarian Mediterranean been that done it done with that uh, eat fatty meat and not count calories just feel great and listen you got to you got to lift the heavy weights every day and this idea that I'm sharing is really hard to believe. Best or oh, one meal. I, I do my meal at night. I think that's the very best time to eat. Then you rest and digest. I, I, that's the kick-ass best thing. Remember, fat is the fuel for the Ferrari, never sugar. Sugar must be converted in liver or you die. That's the simple answer. SC3 is in the house. Good morning to you, my friend. NK, good morning. Ben Wu, how do you meditate? And what it's the best meditation is simply thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day. 
Thank you, God, Lord, created for the day. That's my meditation. And I thank Ben Wu, Ray Kiltz, Monica Hammerstein, SC3, SJ, my good friends uh, all around the globe, Jennifer, Texas, Carnivore. I had a great Easter. I had I had ribeye steak and Kiltz's ice cream. And, yes, I put a little cane sugar in it because I minimize and I rarely eat it. Uh, it's not something I have everywhere. It is less expensive to eat carnivore than all meds you need. They're all gone. You don't need the doctors. You don't need that. Listen, we're all being raped over on health insurance. It's getting ridiculous because we're paying. We're paying for the diseases that everyone's getting from a plant-based, low animal fat diet. And then we're like, well, Dr. Kilt's a healthy diet is fruits and vegetables. Healthy for the doctors, the hospitals, the insurance companies. Uh, cancers are rising like crazy, especially among younger people. Why is this aside from plants? It's, uh, it's Daryl, it's plants. It's just plants, high plant-based diet. I saw a young lady, 34 the other day, breast cancer and had a colectomy from colitis Crohn's. And it's all secondary to this. And cholesterol is the building blocks of your body. It causes no disease unless you have a low cholesterol. The cause of disease and this is the hard one. Oh, my God, I can't get it. It's simple. And I was listening to, to uh, uh, Nisha and Ken Berry about um, a burger. Let's see. What's a burger? Well, it's a steak that's been ground up, but you must eat the fat. That's critical. Love to eat fatty meat and not count calories. It's just the greatest in the universe. And Dora, why is this? Again, it is plants. Sorry, Daryl. It's plants and protein. A high plant, high protein, low fat diet and eating three to six grazing meals a day is the cause of all disease, Daryl. Done. See you later. That's it. Damage to the glycobiome. Turbo, uh, uh, yep, tur turbo cancers, are, all cancers are on the rise and they're on the rise because of the basic, uh, uh, the propaganda that you and I are propped up with claiming cholesterol causes heart disease. Lipid lunacy, uh, the clot thickens. And uh, fat is not the cause of disease. Sugar is. Oh, you're so sweet. Eat sugar, my friend. They focused on eating sugar, and it's killing all of us. All right, Ben, in the mirror. We are all, we are, we are, we are you, I'm fasting today and then eating tomorrow. Dealing with nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and stopping transfer meds. It's normal, Marie Johnson. Remember, salt water and resting and Resting, take take a rest, lay down, rest it up for sure. Silvana Talvesca, CC, good morning. I have no gallbladder. Uh, carnivore, you don't need a gar you don't need a gallbladder. Everyone's losing their gallbladder and the appendix in their mind, secondary to plant-based low-fat diet. You must eat the fatty meat. That's the most important thing. Why does it ask to in the live video? I'm not already in. Don't understand every every aspect of technology. I don't either, Rachel. I don't understand most of it myself. They kick me out every so. Plus, I'm on probation, right? On All, all cancers are caused by a plant-based, low animal fat diet. My best meal is at night, and I, and I don't think it's in the morning, but sometimes I'll have a morning meal. Brenda, Brenda, good morning. CB Carmack. You don't have to eat as much on carnivore. Naturally, it's way cheaper. Carnivore gives you food freedom, weigh a bag of potato cheap chips and cereal and compare the price per pound. Meat is the master meal, and you've been lied to by the lions that want to keep you a grazing animal. All the stuff in your life has arrived to serve you rather than to make you servant of the stuff. You can't expect to draw people into your life who are kind, confident, and generous if you're thinking and acting in cruel, weak, and selfish ways. You must put forth what you want to attract every single amazing day. Happy April, Erica Arntz, my artist friend. I'll see you in Florida. Love you, my friends. A great day, God's paradise. And uh, Dora and Dora, Mad World, I did great for cheating. And you treated at Easter dinner yesterday, family. Hardly any bloating. Gas stuck, deviled eggs. Awesome. Potatoes, but I need to work out this morning. Get to the gym. I do the gym every single day. I do my treadmill, a little sprinting, some incline walking. I do the weights. Remember, you got to lift the worry up and give it to the gods. 
I'm here for a billion dollars advice, really meaty, a billion dollars. I live on a billion dollars every day. All right. While fear, while fear thoughts can destroy creative capacity and bring to pass things that are constantly feared, faith and positivity can create and develop. Remember, every day, positivity is the way. God loves, God loves you every day in every way, uh, in the way, in the day is love. Thank you, God, Lord, created for the day. Right, Brother Ray, Silvana, uh, I can't stop coughing. Is that laughing or coughing? Inflammation. Remember, remember, it, just because you're carnivore doesn't mean you're not going to get the diseases that are common to humanity. This is not like, well, why did I get diseased if I'm carnivore? Because you're a live human being, and there are plenty of bugs and plants that want to make you fertilizer. Remember, the bugs and the plants are the killers, and they want to take us down. You want to make them fertilizer? They want to make you fertilizer. It's just, you know, we're working it together. Uh, uh, Do you eat seafood? I see food. I eat food. It's usually bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and salt. I rarely eat fish. I sometimes eat lobster, crabs, shrimp, scallops. That's it. Did I say, did I say um, uh, (laughs) oysters? All right. Uh, Jay Hogard, good morning to you, my friend. Rachman, delicious emergency food. Pemmican, I make pemmican. It's the best. Enjoy my latest batch with 50% sirloin tip, 50% tallow, uh, 35% beef tallow, 15% bacon lard. Even my boys enjoy that smooth appetizer this Easter. Listen, remember, the the life you live is determined by the thoughts in your mind. Change the thoughts, improve your thoughts, Live thoughts of positivity every day and love vegan, vegetarians, Mediterraneans, pescatarians, and carnivarians alike because we're all the gods within all of us. Mrs. Uh, thoughts on keto when starting IVF. Kay Cummings, uh, medications, a carnivore. Listen, bacon, eggs, butter, beef. The top of the line is carnivore. Keto is the waiting room, the entry path to carnivore, but it's the very best to go carnivore. All right, Rachman. Uh, when will you eat tomorrow night, Ben, Johnny Johnson, blessings, carnivore family. Thanks for the inspiration to stay the course every day. Chapel Hill, Georgia, my good friends in Georgia. Thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day, this day, this way, every day. I'm so appreciative to you and everything you bring to this universe. And you got to check out drkilts.com. Uh, Electra. Oh, let's see. Elton McDermott, Florida in June. Nice, my friends. Love Florida. Love the hot. Love the sweaty. Love the the all that stuff. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God, Creator. Kilts reading Stoic wisdom. Love the Stoics, don't you? And my good friend Jeff Picone, Meat Mind. My good friend Ashran uh, from Pregnancy Safe Cosmetics. Go check out her website. Check out her stuff. She's a rock star. All right, Meta, Meta, thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, plants are the cause of disease, not just sugar. Plant antigens, plant chemicals, plant sugars that are highly antigenic. That means they cause inflammation. And then the fermentation of plants by the bugs in the gut, which makes alcohol not good, not good, not good. Good news. I can apply for my doctor license to practice medicine in several states because of the change the laws get get going ben uh get out there do it it's the mindset i'm a doctor all right robin heron carnivorous grandma is a rock star she's here this morning thank you robin stopping by uh and all had a debate at the dinner table last night about minimum level of carb for people even for those with type 1 diabetes can you speak on this there is zero there's no requirement to ever eat a plant product when you eat meat, proteins, and fat, they actually come with sugars called glycans. And the glycans, and just look up the glycobiome, glycobiology is actually the best one to look up because they look up the milk biome and the bacteria biome, but there's zero, even for a type 1 diabetic. Now, if you're on an insulin pump, you're screwed because an insulin pump is like keep giving you heroin every day. You need to eat sugars. So in my opinion, I don't like the pump. I don't recommend continuous insulin uh, uh, treatment. I recommend go carnivore 
Eat one meal a day or less, make it fatty meat, salt and water, and you'll minimize your insulin significantly. And I bet you're going to find some people out there that, that actually have, have uh, some, some insulin still in there, but they've been, they've been suppressing it because they're, they're, they're consuming a plant-based diet. Look up the glycobiome. That's the rock star, Robin. But, uh, and remember we have a high requirement for adipose tissue to eat, but not a high requirement for, for amino acids, proteins. It's lower than you think. And we have a zero requirement to ever eat a plant sugar ever. Think about it. The majority of plant sugars that we consume are all industrial produced. And if you think about it, even the fruit fight, the fresh fruits and vegetables did not exist of any significance or frequency. And certainly the seeds and nuts did not either. I know. Thank you. And check out uh, carnivorous grandma, uh, Robin Heron, rock star. We're going to get Robin on again and have a conversation with Kiltsy. Mad and or to eat one meal a day. I do not stuff myself. I eat about a fistful of meat a day, and that is it. I do a little bit of bone broth. I'm, I'm having a little bit of caffeine, decaffeinated coffee, uh, but minimize, add some butter and cream, but not a lot. Side note, everyone, please have minimum of three days, but ideally three months worth of provisions for you and your family. Water. Uh, let's see. A life is good. Life is good and grand. See, that's why fat is the, the best thing to do. You carry it with you because all those stores, if you're overweight and there's a famine, you're going to survive longer than anyone else. That's why we get fat. CC, thank you, my friend. Ben Wu tonight. This is the news. News. It's all good news. Older things. Older things. Good morning. Time to cook a steak. Uh, a doctor preaching carnivore. Imagine that. My pleasure, older things. Eat the meat. Be the master. Eat the mush. Weak and meek. Remember, slaves, soldiers, peasants, and prisoners are told not to eat the meat. Here's the mush, rice and beans, and, and all the yickety echoes with it, right? Then they tell you healthy. They put the word healthy in front of something, like salad, smoothies, and shakes. They're deadly for you. And that is a simple answer as that. And, and then who eats the fatty meat? The masters. You are the masters. All right, go hit the gym, Michael Pregler. Awesome. Brother Ray, get out there, my friend, my brother. Love you. Uh, let's see. Most of the food I have now is stocking up before we went. Uh, yeah, I just just fill the freezer with a bunch of meat. That's all you need to do. But remember, you dry age it, it'll last even longer. Dwayne, Dwayne McLoon, where I live, the grocery stores have very little grass fed. I don't care if it's grass fed or grain fed personally. Don't matter to me. Don't matter to me. I don't think that's the problem that we we're we're being we're we're being we're being killed by the plants. And and you're worried about what the what the cow eats? My friends, stop eating the plants. They, my freezer and refrigerator contains meat. Meat, the master meal. Uh, keto is good. Carnivore is great. The carnivore is the is the best you could ever do. Eat one meal a day or less fasting. Two to three day fasting, five to seven day fasting. It's great. Food freedom. That's the master way to go. And get to the gym every day and go hang out with some brothers and sisters of positivity. And if they're not, you be the positive shining light to your brothers and sisters around the globe. All right. Preach it up, brother. Every day. Gratitude is the attitude. I am confessing my gratitude to the universe. See, I think we've been, we've been, um, um, misinformed about sin. Sin is simply missing the mark. The whole trick of the universe is keep firing the shots, keep sharpening the uh, arrows and tightening the string. You got to work on you in order to hit the target. But remember, you're always going to bounce back. We're like rubber, the rubber tree. Latex, we're highly allergic to it. Uh, a water filter. I just I do a lot of Gerald Steiner mineral water. Uh, Topo Chico, good friend uh, Jonathan Fay. Ben Wu, gratitude. Uh, ben is getting she's getting her license a hundred percent. Practicing Tao, uh, the Tao. The Tao is amazing. You are. I am. We are the Tao. We are just words. But you don't. You you know we're worried about all this. Uh, Islet cells can regenerate, Brother Ray, rock on. But mostly, you know, see, the plants, type 1 diabetes is pancreatic damage. Type 2 diabetes is liver damage. Type 3, type 3 diabetes is brain damage. 
We've all been damaged. Uh, my pleasure, Katina. Ben Wu, praying is the attitude. I pray to you. It's simply my prayers are thank you, God, Lord, created for the day. I am so grateful to you this day and every day. I appreciate the bumps and ripples because without them, you know, like if it was just all flat and smooth, you wouldn't have the mountains, the valleys, the 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 waterfalls, the 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 sinkholes, the caves, the volcanoes, the deep oceans, the shallow trenches. The universe is made of master art. And remember, the artist is within all of us. We are we are the artists of life. And go out there like my good friend Erica Arntz says, start painting this life, right? Uh, get some like I went and I went and my my daughter Pilar and I went to uh, the the uh, Pompidou Museum in in um, in Paris and like it was all it was what you know it's like modern art right the universe builds in modern art every day every day my friends it's such a pleasure to be on with you today and I appreciate you every day stop it in just an hour of power a moment uh, we're reading listening learning from each other. And um, as a physician, a surgeon, a nutritionist, life coach, um, immunologist, um, OBGYN, reproductive endocrinology, I've learned that we've been consuming the wrong food, listening to the wrong story. And, and I'm not blaming anyone for anything other than myself to take control of myself, like my good friend Jeff Picon in the Meat Mind. We, we, are, we are tigers and lions, all of us. And we've been, we've been fed a story that keeps us weak and meek like sheep. But we are lions and tigers. And when you eat like you are, you feel like impeccably better. I mean, massively better. And it's not, this isn't the complicated science. It's really simple. Occam's razor. You are made of meat. And you should eat what you are made of. When you eat the meat, you will be the master. When you eat the mush, you will be weak and meek and controlled by the message that says you should eat mush. But no longer a prisoner, no longer a slave, a soldier, or a peasant. We are the kings and queens of our own universe. That's what Jesus Christ gave us, in my opinion. Pula, <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, happy Meat Monday, everyone. Greetings from California. Travel with love. I wish you an all wish you all good health, success, and happiness. Much love. And remember, without trials and tribulations, there's no terrific. None. All right. I'm going to sign off. Just a minute. I've got to get to my 6 a.m. I've got uh, The meetings today, utility way, affordability, access, quality, integration, and helping people conceive naturally. And if it ain't happened in that way, hoping helping people uh, with uh, integrative medicine, uh, Eastern and Western, bringing them together, like my good friend, Dr. Wexler, and Dr. Heather Smith, uh, just Heather Smith, and my good friend, Aaron McCullough, who's a massage therapist, master yoga. Uh, rock on, brother Rob. Uh, no, you're here. Oh, the islet cells, Amy. Well, Brother Ray commented, Amy, that the the islet cells may regenerate. And again, we really don't have any good evidence either way. The problem is everyone's eating a plant-based continuous damage to the islet cells. And remember, glycation, and if you look at goitrogenic, goitrogenic foods, they're likely damaging every cell of our body. That's it. PDF with many. Thank you. Uh, the, the Kid Bellow, awesome. Ferris 3G, Ostron. I will get a chance to take a look at it. We'll figure something out. Help and share the word and the way. And thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day is the word. And it's um, mind shape, thoughtscape. Change the thoughts, change the mind, change the landscape of life. And remember, we are basically damaging our glycobiome. We're damaging our garden within by eating excessive plants and low-fat diet. Look up protein and plant poisonings. Raw milk and kefir, not of any significance or frequency. I highly uh, re recommend against any significant milk products. Even butter may be used too excessively. Uh, that's what I think. My pleasure. Share the stories of life and the spirit. Listen, we are the gods. We're the storytellers of the universe. 
The moon didn't tell the story. You did. Remember, what story are you creating in your mind this day and every day with love and kindness, generosity, faith, and patience? Thank you, God, Lord, creator for the day. See it tonight at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time, the Zoom meetup on KMT, Kilt's Mighty Tribe. We're going to make sure that drkilts.com and Instagram and YouTube and all these Seed My Fertility, all of them have a link. Come on on. Uh, bring your story. Uh, we're open to all stories and experiences. Have a great day, because Cheryl, thank you for the day. Love you, my friend.